And by let's go, I mean let's relax. Quiet. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And take this moment, this meditation space, this quiet space of giving to yourself, to like yourself. Thank yourself for showing up, for tuning in, dialing in, listening to this meditation. Be in awe of yourself. You are so freaking cool just because you showed up. Take that in. Be in your original vibration of awesome. And when you're ready, go ahead, close your eyes all the way down. Take a deep cleansing breath. And allow yourself to just get heavy in your chair. Get heavy where you lay. Just sink into the joy of relaxation. The comfort. Ah. <sighs> This is my safe place. This is my calming space. And if you check out or go unconscious right now, you're still going to get all the benefits of the meditation. It's going to be great. Breathe. Relax. Deeper down. Deeper down. Deeper down. And in the next moment, we're going to count backwards from five to one. And when we get to one, you'll be in your deepest state of relaxation. We'll be accessing your subconscious mind. Where all your tools are, all your gifts are stored. Your subconscious mind is always there to protect you. It will always tell you the truth. Some of that truth is that you are awesome, that you already know this. This is a remembering. Let's take another deep breath. And as we sink into relaxation, five, four, three, doubling, tripling that relaxation, two, 10 times more relaxed. One, all the way down, asleep. Down, 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 quiet, safe, relaxed, compassionate rest. And know that by taking this time to reset and be completely at peace, when we come up and out, It'll be like we've had a beautiful night's sleep. We'll be focused, calm, get energetic. Unless you're listening to this to fall asleep, at which point you'll go down, deeper down, deeper down, and have a beautiful rest and take all that you've learned, all that you're meant to be remembered, into your next day. So imagine in this deep, relaxed state that you are in a bubble, your energy field, your aura, your personal space. And that's a bubble about three feet around you in all directions. And create a grounding cord, a cord, a connection between you and the center of the earth. The center of the earth, let's imagine, is a pasture or a patch of grass or a piece of land that you can just ground your grounding cord into. Maybe it's a tube of light. Maybe you're using a tree trunk for your grounding cord. Just really tether yourself to the center of the earth. 
And the center of the earth we're going to postulate is neutral energy. So when you ground and release energy to the center of the earth, it gets transformed into neutral energy. So simply by grounding and setting yourself on release to gently, effortlessly. You are giving yourself and you're giving the planet a healing. How cool is that? The gift that literally keeps on giving. So as you sit here grounded in your bubble, put your attention, be a point of light behind your eyes and in between your temples. This is your center of headspace. And if you see any energies in there with you, any other people, and you sense anything, just invite it out. Center of your head is for you and you alone. And with practice, you'll start to know when someone has jumped in your head. Nope. Get out. Get in your own space. So be in the center of your head, be a point of light, be grounded in your bubble in this deep, relaxed state. And for this healing, give your bubble grounding cord, even yourself as a point of light, give it a color. Maybe it's yellow or green or some color on the web colors on your computer. Just any color but white or black. You can be ecru, or you can be slate gray, but we just don't want to encourage unconsciousness. So pick a, pick a color that makes you feel even more safe, even more calm, even more relaxed even more comfortable. Be in your bubble. I call this your safety safe. It's your safe place. Nothing bad can happen when you're in your safe place. You're safe and safe. So just be there for a moment. Just be content. Be comfortable. Like yourself. And appreciate this deep, relaxed state. Appreciate being in the center of your head, being in control. And when you're ready, from the center of your head, project out before you a reading screen. Maybe you're sitting in a theater and you have a great big theater screen. Maybe you're looking at a monitor that's floating in the space outside your bubble. Whatever makes sense to you. Psychic whiteboard, psychic chalkboard, it all. It all works. And on that reading screen or psychic chalkboard, I want you to write the word grief. G-R-I-E-F. And just sit with the word grief. Stay in the center of your head and take an inventory of your body. What do you feel in your body when you look at the word grief? 
You might feel a tightness somewhere. You might feel some tingling. You might feel nothing at all. Just sit with that. And let that comfortable color flow through your body, soothing you even more, grounding you, reinforcing that sense of safety, comfort, liking yourself. Perhaps you even feel confident. And just sit here, take all the time you need until any sensations that come up when you look at the word grief dissipate or become manageable. And if you experience something uncomfortable by simply looking at the word grief, give yourself some grace for when you actually are dealing with the emotion of grief. It is as rich and thick and chocolatey as it comes. So this is a baby step for helping heal, push through any times when we are grieving. Take another deep breath and let it go. And from the center of your head, grounded in your bubble, looking at the word grief on a reading screen or psychic whiteboard, what I'd like you to do now is change the size of the word, change the font, make it bigger or smaller, and then see what happens to your space. Take inventory. If that's uncomfortable, switch directions. If you made it small and it was uncomfortable, try making it bigger. If it was big and making it uncomfortable, make it smaller. And notice what you notice. And as you're noticing this, realize that you are moving energy. You are controlling energy by shifting the space shifting the appearance of the word grief. In this next moment, I want you to shrink down the letters that create the word grief. Make it appear on your reading screen as if the word has moved far, far away from you. And so the optics make it look very small. And then notice what you notice. Do you feel more safe? Feel less safe? Do you need to reinforce your grounding cord? Maybe you start to feel happy because you're in control. Whatever you feel is whatever you feel and it's all perfect. In the next breath, bring the word grief back towards you in your mind's eye, back to a size that's more readable. And this time, change the font, change the shape of the letters. They were all lowercase, perhaps make them uppercase. If they were in Calibri, maybe change it to Verdun or Times New Roman. If you don't know what those are, maybe change from block letters to cursive. Have fun with this.
And now change what the dot over the I in grief looks like, if it's in lowercase. Some of us used to put hearts over our eyes. Some would put smiley faces. Do something a little silly with the dot over the eye. And now take the entire word and paint it or decorate it into something that makes you laugh out loud. Maybe make the whole word into a dinosaur or a clown, or maybe it has glitter coming out of it. Whatever you can imagine, just make the letters of the word grief a little silly, a little amusing. It's the same word, you've just changed its appearance. And by changing its appearance, you change the charge off of the word. You might notice that you're smiling now. Wait, I'm looking at grief and I'm happy? What is this sorcery? It's no sorcery. It's you. It's your energetic tools. This is nothing new. This is who you are. You've always had this. You've always had access to this. This is a relearning. So when you've made the letters of the word grief look as silly as they possibly can, go ahead and just erase the entire thing off of your reading screen. And notice what you notice in your physical body. Yeah. What may have been uncomfortable in your physical body, for many, by doing this exercise, by doing this hypnosis and meditation, you actually feel lighter, feel enthusiastic, feel ready to do it again, because it was fun. So anchor that into your space so that the next time you have something to grieve or have grief around something, it's enjoyable. Like, I'm gonna work through this. It's gonna be easy. It might even be enjoyable. And I still get to work through the really sticky stuff. And give, your credit, give yourself credit for being brave for being courageous enough to go through this, to imagine leaning into grief. You're so brave. You did it. And you made it out the other side. So take your energetic victory lap. Give yourself a psychic high five. And know that you can do this with any juicy topic. I did it with the word betrayal. That was a juicy one. But then I was giggling at the end. Because people do dumb shit when they only know how to do dumb shit. And I released my attachment to that. because I didn't want to vibrate in any victim energy. So be in your bubble, grounded in the center of your head, being stoked about this energetic victory you just created for yourself. I can control my response to grief. I am awesome. 
I am strong. I am amazing. And I am capable. And much, much more. Say that to yourself. Say it out loud. Really own your healing through your fifth chakra. That's your communication space. So in this deep, relaxed state, feeling courageous, ready to take on the world, unafraid of grief, allow yourself to, to re revel in your accomplishments, in your ability to manage your grief. Now, when you're ready, take and destroy that theater screen or reading screen or your psychic whiteboard. Just toss it into the universe and let it become pixie dust. And allow yourself to be where you are, seated where you are, comfortable and relaxed, ready for a great night's sleep. We're ready to get up and go and get some stuff done. And anchoring in the concept that even hearing the word grief or grieving or grieved, the concept, possibility that you have something to grieve, that you can do so in a healthy, safe manner, fully conscious, fully aware. And that's the way, that's the way true healing begins. True healing on the deepest soul level. In a moment, we're going to count back up from one to five, at which point your eyes will come open and be ready to take on the day. If you're sleeping, that will just be a cue to go deeper down into that beautiful REM sleep, delta sleep. One, feeling really good about yourself. Two, being grateful that you took this time for yourself. Three, feeling empowered, maybe even a weensy bit emotional as the grief moves out of your physical body. Four, again, feeling empowered, encouraged, capable, strong, and safe. You can handle this and whatever the world throws at you. And five, eyes open, wake up. Hello, good people. <laughs> you did it. You're fantastic. You are able to conquer anything. So we will continue these meditations. We're gonna go into some more juicy stuff because I'm here to give you tools so that you can have a better, more fulfilling life and not hold yourself back or be held back by something real or imagined that is stuck in your space. Again, these meditations are for listening and re-listening, sharing with your friends, um, sharing with your husbands, your kids. Like, listen, I got a healing for you. It may not be this particular one, but I've got a um, there are eighty some meditations on this um, podcast YouTube channel. So take this enjoyable, safe, wonderful healing. And if you need to contact me or would like to be a guest on the show, share your story and have a real live healing via the Zoom, 
reach out at hello at drcynthiasmith.com. Thank you for checking in. Thank you for taking this time for yourself. And thank you for this incredible healing for yourself and the planet. I'm your guide, Dr. Cynthia Smith, and this is the Intuitive Hypnotherapy Podcast. Namaste and good night.